So, what's up? What's up? Gail Lewis, let's talk about, talk about your story. That's where we need to pull up to. Now, this lady's name has been trending on social media for quite some time due to her husband having this alleged affair with his mistress that she actually rode up on at the airport. Her mind became suspicious due to some type of receipt that she was confronted with and decided to do a little investigation herself and had the help allegedly with one of the airport workers when she had showed up to confront him and her her meaning the alleged mistress well naturally when you know someone gets exposed they not okay about it or they are okay about it and they're just like look this hasn't been going on for quite some time unfortunately you were just so in the blind you were just so caught up in the everyday life of spending however many hundreds of dollars however many thousands of dollars living the good life but i was being neglected i'm not saying that was her story or she could have made, you know, been neglected and he was just caught up with this new woman thinking she's giving me this attention and I'm liking it. But whatever the situation is, now the popos is involved. The popos is involved because the alleged mistress decided to call the popos to let them know what she don't appreciate. The types of things that's being said about her on social media. So now Gail Lewis is taken to the streets of social media to have her say what's up Gail what you want to talk about this one Gail does go into her video and what she does have to share notice how she's saying how people done changed up people done changed up since this alleged affair has came out she's talking about the so-called friends remember in this lifestyle because I guess the man is doing financially the husband is doing financially well for himself so therefore I guess with some people you're gonna rub elbows or certain people of a certain caliber and be about that life and whatever rich folk talk about but when something comes tumbling down to kind of break up that dynamics can the wife still relate when she's just talking about a coach bag versus not a Birkin bag or real life situations can real life situations still be talked about go ahead Gail talk about it talk about it talk about it because inquiring minds I want to know again what you got to say Gail either scroll stroll or roll but don't bring your funky asses in my comments trying to defend some bad behavior last time i spoke with you all i mentioned that i um could not speak about my current situation if you've been following my story you know exactly what i'm talking about and right now um the popo has been called on this former popo um i guess me telling my story has irritated some folks demons and now they're worried about their character and what their mama think and all that kind of stuff so when the dust settles i am going to tell my story so right now my focus really has been on just trying to get my mental and my spiritual health back on track um just been kind of um you know praying every day and trying to study god's word live by his word i've been talking to a therapist um, and she's helped me out tremendously um, because I, for years I have internalized things and that's been to my detriment. It's always been to my detriment because I never really spoke the things that I really wanted to speak or I said what I thought people wanted to hear. And now that I'm truly saying what I want to say and saying it truthfully, I feel so much better. So, you know, with therapy, that's kind of helping me, helping me um, out a whole lot. So. Like I said, I'm just, you know, doing the things I can do to try to get my peace back. Just playing with my pup, working out, doing all that kind of stuff. But I was going to say this. I have learned a lot about people just from posting um, my story. You know, how people speculate and make stuff up. I mean, I, I mean, when I say I didn't know about the situation, I didn't know. And I'm the type, if you tell me you love me and we have been solid for years... Um, and we've been connected for years and I'm going to trust you and especially if you've come through for me I'm going to trust you. I don't have a reason to go looking behind to see You know if you're going to do what you said, you know that you're going to do So I may have been ignorant 
you know, from not looking at some things, but um, anyone that tries to decide to judge me based on what I did or didn't know, I mean, I pity you because you are definitely woefully ignorant. I don't have anything to hide and I didn't do anything wrong. So, I mean, that, that is what it is. I mean, I posted a video, um, I think, yeah, it was like a couple of weeks ago. I think when the last video was I posted and it was like 10 minutes long. And I promise you, all I did, I took the video down because it was just too long. Then it was just all this speculation. She lied, she taking stuff out. I'm like, no, the video was too long. So basically what I condensed it, put it into three separate videos, because who got time to listen to somebody, you know, talk for 10 minutes? So there was nothing to it, end of story. I said what I said, it was the truth. So, and the other thing I want to speak on is friends. You know, I am um, finding out um, that true friends are hard to find. Now them fake ones, like during this time, they really show themselves. You think they're your true friends, but they really show themselves. You know, you know. I'm finding out that you know that folks who say that you're that they're your true friends, they really base it on um, simple stuff, stuff that really doesn't matter in the end anyway. Your neighborhood, your car, your social status. If they think you have some money or something like that, because the minute stuff go belly up. You lose your good job. Them kids start showing their asses, any kind of family issues. They are so happy. You will find out that some folks are so happy and they show themselves in these type of situations. I mean, I'm over here tore up and I can tell you that some of the first things that I figured, I, that, that kind of shows those fake friends. First thing they asked was like, oh, you gonna keep the house? I'm thinking like, who in the world is thinking about a house in this situation? Like I know who provide for me. And first of all, I got six sisters and brothers. So if I was going to, I ain't worried about where I'm going to live. If I ain't living where I'm living now, I'm a, I got somewhere to go. I know that. I know that assuredly. So that kind of stuff, you know, tells a whole lot um, about people. So I'm just saying, you know, with this divorce, you learn, you learn a lot about people. You stop getting invited to events. Uh... Uh, people would tell other people to stop hanging out with you. And I'm like, because of divorce, they tell the folks to watch out for you. I'm like, oh, because I'm getting a divorce, I ain't done nothing wrong. Been doing everything, as I'm thinking, as right as possible, trying to be a good friend as best as I can. And then you find out you got these folks who call themselves your friend behind your back telling folks, watch out for her. And I'm like, all that's happening is I'm getting a divorce. But, you know, just watch out for that kind of stuff because make sure that people who say they're praying for you, Make sure it ain't the other praying. Everybody ain't P-R-A-Y-ing for you. They P-R-E-Y-ing. Trying to be nosy, trying to get in your business so they can go and gossip and run to the next one. You know how there's a song talking about money can't buy me love or I want love, I want money, lots and lots of money or ooh, if I get a hold of some money, let me find out. Let me find out if it helps. Well, here you got Gail saying, well, with the money came the friends. With the friends came the money. You know, people on the level that they are, they're able to live that good life, whatever that consists of. But at the same time, you're still a person. You're still a person that goes through real life situations. And we all need somebody to lean on at different times. Will the person be there for you through thick and thin? Or will they be your friend when you need to lean your head or something of value of substance to talk about when the going gets tough, the tough gets going, or just people just not fake nowadays, that they just can't relate, like they just so untouchable, like they don't experience nothing. What's really going on? But see, that's the real test. That's the true value. Now, granted, I feel like sometimes you have friends, even family members that you have to put in a certain category because not everybody is going to be that rock that you need to lean on. Not everybody is going to have a prayer, a word of encouragement. Like she said, you know, they want to pray on you to see what your next move is. Are you going to fall off? Do you have anything left? Well, how much you got in the bank and how is that going to afford the lifestyle that you're used to? Are you going to be okay? Are you going to be able to figure it out? Now, thankfully, she said she got who she got in her life. That is family that does have her back that will support. Yes, that's a good thing because some people don't even have that. And then when you do have that, sometimes people will still change it up on you. So that's why it is important for you to be able to accumulate your own because sometimes you just never know. Male or female, people can change it up. 
on you at any given second. But at the end of the day, then too, you know, shoot, it's enough homelessness out here. It's enough people that don't have food. It's enough people that can't don't know where their next uh, money is coming from to afford their electricity bill. It's a lot going on out here. So I'm like, if Gail does have a plan, that's a good thing. Because see, for a minute there, I thought Gail was auditioning to possibly be on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Then Candy, who she was with, you know how high and key can in general talking about the situation. Next thing you know, Candy's making her announcement she will not be returning. Now, I saw a lot of, oh, oh we're going to miss Candy. Well, I stopped watching the show, honestly, some years ago. And then when I was watching it, I was like, Team Nene, I enjoy Phaedra. I enjoy, who else? Kim, she, she brought something, um, I feel like, to the Housewives of Atlanta franchise. Phaedra, shut. What's her name? Shut. I'm about to say shut. Sh sh Sheree. Sheree, she was another good one. Kenya, definitely can't forget about her. But it's just been so many different changes. Like the original cast, I can't think of everybody's names. Of course, it's been a lot of different terms there. But that's interesting to know that T.I. and Tiny, uh, Tiny, she was supposed to be on the show originally. But she said, holler at my girl Candy. Not that Candy needed the money, but that storyline alone, you know, with her and Todd, the man that she's currently married to, when that happened, that gave her a storyline to work with and then some. But back to this lady, Gail. It's going to be more that's going to continue to come out. So I guess as of right now, Gail just going to have to. But I think Gail got something brewing right now. Her and his husband and possibly of this alleged mistress, they got something bearing that might wind up on TV because right now she's causing such a, a stir and then maybe Gail was already known in the streets of Atlanta. It seems like Atlanta is always popping up in the headlines every now and again. Something always going on in Atlanta. So why the story chose to take off, who knows? But I think the lady got something bearing that th this ain't the last this ain't the beginning this ain't the last maybe she didn't try before to get on some type of new reality shows before the past but she got somebody's attention she got some producers attention casting whoever direct she got somebody's attention gail gonna be okay gail gonna figure it out gail just tread lightly right now but yet just giving updates as to what's going on about most recently the police being called on her because people are not appreciating it like, look, I got family and I don't need my name slandered out here. And not that I feel Gail was slandering. She just was saying, you know, this is what happened through my eyes, through my mind, what I am voicing. That, that's what she did. People took to it. People like scandal. People like drama. People listen off him, off him, off him. Then people say, well, look right there. That looks like a younger version of Gail right there. So that's all he's doing. Mm-hmm, but t sometimes it seems like it'd be the woman a lot of times that get the backlash of this conversation. But hey, it takes two to tangle, okay? It takes two to tangle to have a consent about all of this. So we shall see, Miss Gail, and the rest of uh, the names that's involved in this uh, alleged situation.